Should I change my sealed transmission? Well, check this out. Guys, a lot of people are destroying their transmissions from not changing their transmission fluid. But there's something you need to know before doing this. Now, there could be materials from clutches, bands, so forth inside the transmission fluid. And these are reasons why you would definitely want to change it. Also, fluid loss. We hear about these sealed lifetime transmissions. Well, do they really last a lifetime? Yeah, as you probably know, they last the life of the transmission. So the fluid says it does. Now, is this really what you want? Even if the fluid can go the distance. Now we have problems with materials inside the fluid. And do you have a sealed transmission? Well, if you don't have a dipstick, then yeah, you probably do. Can you service it yourself? Well, for most DIYers, it's possible, but you'll need to raise the vehicle off the ground in a lot of cases. So guys, why did they even do this? Why go to a sealed transmission in the first place? Unfortunately, well, it's an environmental issue and a cost issue, but mostly the environmental issue because it's actually saving from having to dump all this transmission fluid out and they're coming more and more strict on auto manufacturers. So this can really go a long ways with the millions and millions and millions of barrels of transmission fluid just in the USA alone. So yeah, at the very least, you definitely want to check your transmission fluid or have your mechanic do it. So at least check the fluid level, make sure it's correct. This way, you know, if you've used a lot of the fluid up, you could destroy your transmission grinding, it's hard shifting, um, but yeah, you're already starting to have failures. And it may be too late. But, guys, share your experience and knowledge about this subject. Have you changed your transmission fluid? And if you've waited a really long time, the vehicle's got hundreds of thousands of miles on it, then you may just want to check the fluid level um, and not change it at that point because once you've waited so long, you could do more harm than good. I know it's almost contradicting, but nevertheless. Now, make sure you change it early, at least by the manufacturer's uh, specifications, unless they say this lifetime or hundreds of thousands of miles. You know, I say about 60,000 miles at the least. Um, have a qualified professional do so. Thanks for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.